Hello guys, how are you? This is the build of the one fifth five <laughs> Hello guys, how are you? This is the build of the Revel one to five hundred and seventy scale RMS Titanic. Very strange scale indeed. Um, it's a 1980s kit, very old one, reboxed, and this I bought it on second hand, used, let's say, on eBay. Doesn't bring his booklet. Um, even so, I, I bought it cheap, and I started to build it uh, a year ago, and then I stopped. Don't ask me why, I don't know. And I never got to finish it finish it and then just because I'm waiting for some pieces of HMS Victory that I'm building from Heller 100th scale I just thought I should start this one again and uh, finish it and here it is video I hope you enjoy it and I also built the one to 400 scale a few years ago I donated that kit and I really like to build Titanics. It's an iconic ship. I really hope at the end of this video that you approve this build. As you can see, um, considerable size, let's say, uh, model of RMS Titanic. Um, very little detail. We all know those old Revel kits. Um, I, I built it all out of the box. No extra details added except the ones I really had to because of the fit of this um, kit. I realized why it was um, sold and the booklet stayed with uh, the previous owner because the booklet was uh, a collectible and the kit was not. Uh, the kit was warped. Uh, no detail, flash, a lot of flash. But since I started this kit, I said to myself, why not finish it? I mean, I, I, I built old kits with a lot of flash also. And at the end, everything turned out okay. See here, the hold, huge gaps, but hey, it's a Titanic. Uh, we all love a good Titanic, right? Um, at least a model. And that's what I did. I tried to build it the best I could. If you are going to use Dremel to drill the windows, do it on a slow rotation speed, okay? Otherwise the plastic will melt and will tangle around the drill. And you don't want that, believe me, been there, done that.
dry fit first guys always dry fit dry fit dry fit As I told you before, I started this kit a year ago and primed it black and then uh, I just let it be on the box again. So you will see me prime the kit in black and then prime it in grey. I don't care, even better. The first primer, give it consistency and um, smoothness. And then the second one, grey, I could check the impurities and perfections better and sand it a little bit better. And it was a very good coloring base uh, for the colors of Titanic.
I started to mask uh, using green, by the way, masking tape on the deck after painting it the deck tan. Um, the purpose of this is to airbrush all details. When you use your brush, uh, and my right hand now shakes a bit, so I prefer to use the airbrush rather than to brush details, okay? Um, yeah, that is a lot of extra work because you have to cut all those small masking tape pieces as you can see here. In the end, it pays off. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down
here I was starting to fit the text and it was a problem. Um, the kit was warped, the decks were warped. Um, thank God they were warped to the inside, not to, to the outside. That would, would be a problem. Even so, it was complicated to say the least to fit the decks. Um, also, the kit was warped, not completely um, horizontal, which provoked, provoked a, um, a light discrepancy on the level of the decks, unfortunately. And I had to use a lot of strip styrene to compensate and to cover all the seam lines and all the gaps. But, well, it's, it's Titanic and I really like this ship, so it's all worth it, I think, if you are happy with the work you're doing. This yellow or gold uh, strip around Titanic, I used gold color to paint it. Um, even so, if the strip was yellow, I have to tell you because of the scale redu reduct factor, uh, which, you know, a, a smaller scale needs a bigger amount of light to reflect the correct tone of the color. So this kit is not as big, and so the yellow at a certain distance looks, uh, the gold, sorry, at a certain distance looks yellow, but if you look at the detail, it looks goldish. So one way or the other it fits perfectly and I thought I should um, do a one millimeter thickness I know the scale probably would be smaller but hey I want to give the illusion of that yellow or gold uh, strip around the ship some wood grain painting on the base of this kit. Um, I already painted the base with light wood color as you saw previously and now I mixed some oils. I first let them settle on the card on the cardboard just to um, absorb the oils to dry a bit and then I mixed it until I got a mix of uh, dark brown. Uh, these days you can get a uh, straight dark brown from the shops 
from Modeling Stars. I didn't have any dark brown, so I used that mix and apply it as you are seeing on the base. And then using the sponge, the sponge type uh, used on computers to isolate components, I just smeared it and then mixed uh, some red clear coat and some yellow, all because I didn't have any orange and applied it on the base and I do believe that the wood grain on this one got very good if I did say so myself. Now I'm trying to build the cranes, as you can see, uh, no detail whatsoever on these cranes, but to be honest, on the Titanic 1 to 400 scale, uh, they're the same, they're just the same. Um, I don't know if there is any photo edge set for this one. When I started to build it, it was out of the box, stayed out of the box, I just tried to do the best. Uh, then I could to build it, had some fun, distract myself a bit, and uh, this is the result you are watching, and I hope you like it at the end of this video.
Despite the colors being satined, the satin clear, the satin coat I gave to the kid to protect all the detail paint, even after applying it, they were very thick. They didn't conform uh, conveniently, even if I used the Tamiya, the Tamiya um, decal solution, which is very strong. But well, in the end. If it says Titanic at this scale, it's good for me. Um, it's one of those things I regret when I look at the kit. It could be a bit more transparent between the letters, but okay, no problem, I can deal with that. And now the rigging. I used melted styrene to do it. Um, don't one piece of advice, use uh, CA glue and accelerator or kicker when doing this. It's much faster and you will get much better results. Uh, use just a tiny bit of glue and you will be okay. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank all my Patreons and all those of you while watching this video and support me here on YouTube. I'm on Patreon and here just to keep my hobby just a bit more sustainable and only that. Thank you to you all. I hope you are enjoying this video. If you are, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and in this way you can help the channel grow a bit more. Thank you. I'm using a um, soldering iron. The heat will just stretch all that thread, that plastic thread, and they will be parallel to each other. Um, it's not easy if you overdo it and approach it, the soldering iron a bit more. You will have to do it again because the thread will melt.
after all this work, it took me almost it took me almost a year to finish this one. I finished it. Uh, the kit was not good, as I told you. I realize now why the, the previous owner sold it, and I don't know why the booklet wasn't in, but no problem at all. If you want, you can keep the book. I kept the kit, and it was a lot of work, but I hope you appreciate this video. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Stay safe out there, okay? And as always, keep modeling, guys. Keep modeling. Always. Always with a smile. Cheers.